This will be a demonstration for the math blogger uh, entering an equation into a blog post so it is readable. And what we're going to use is a process with an online latex equation editor. So to get started, uh, what we need to do is go to this link right here, uh, the codecogs.com latex equation editor. Once you click on that link, you're going to be presented with this very robust equation editor. So in here, you would add in your functions, trig, logs, limits, operators, and whatnot to create your equation with your numerical values and other stuff. So uh, I'm just gonna do an example. And here you can see that this equation, once I've entered that in, uh, this would be created on that previous screen, you end up with what's called latex markup language. And this looks very different from what this shows as the equation, but uh, the website as it is, the blog, will convert this over from the latex to the equation. So what we do is we've created our equation in that previous screen, it should look like this, and we want to go to the bottom of the screen and make sure we're on latex and select and copy this information. Now we go back to the blog post, we go from compose to HTML, you'll notice that it's light gray, scroll to where we want that. We wanted this under the math equation, so we're going to take out one of these breaks. I'm going to paste in that code there. Go back to compose. Give myself a little space there, a little less space up there. And you'll see that when viewing it here, you still see the latex markup language. But once you've saved and view it, I've already saved this post before. This is the instructions that I'm going over right now and it will have a video demonstration that I'm doing added in. Um, you would click save, I'm gonna click update. Uh, once we've updated it, we can go to view and you will see the math equation. Now what's nice about the MathML, MathJax script that I've included is at any point you can right click and it will come up as math uh, code, text commands, you can use different settings, but the accessibility is there. So students, uh, screen readers will be able to utilize the math equations as well. So if there are any questions, please let us know.